Thanks for joining me. I'm Curl Painter Master Aaron Rutten. In this course, I will guide you through all of the important tools and features found in Corel Painter 2022. I'll also share many of the digital painting tricks and techniques I have learned throughout my career. In addition to familiarizing yourself with Painter's essential content and features, you'll also learn some of the fundamental illustration skills that you can use to create art like a pro. The two primary goals for this course are for you to become more confident using Corel Painter and for you to feel more comfortable making art on a computer. You'll discover the various types of brushes while learning how to paint with each category. You'll learn how to modify brush properties to create your own custom brushes. You'll learn how to use the important features and tools in Corel Painter. You'll learn how to customize the Corel Painter interface to best suit your needs. And we'll go through a real world digital art workflow from beginning to end so you can utilize the skills you will learn to create a finished product. Corel Painter is a very robust art application. So to keep this course concise, I'm going to be skipping over the features that are not essential to my painting technique. By the end of this course, you will have developed a strong foundation that you can build upon with my other courses and tutorials, which go more in depth into painting specific subjects. During this course, we will be working with several template files I've created to help demonstrate brushes, tools, and other features. You can load these templates into Painter and follow along with me. Let's go ahead and dive right into this course. I'll start by giving you an overview of what the Corel Painter software can do. Corel Painter is art software that allows you to draw and paint on your computer. What sets Painter apart from other art applications is that it does an exceptional job of simulating the experience of working with natural media. Painter's brushes are very organic looking, so it's easy to get the randomness that traditional painters use to create expressive art. Making art in Painter feels more natural than the average art application, which is why it's been my software of choice for many years. Here are some examples of the types of media you can simulate. My favorite are Corel Painter's thick paint brushes, which build up gloopy paint that you can smear around. It really feels like you are applying real paint to a canvas rather than pushing around pixels. There are oily bristle brushes that diffuse with wet edges. The blenders in Corel Painter are exceptional and can give you a really wide range of looks. You can even paint with natural looking watercolor effects that flow across your canvas. Best of all, because this is digital art, you can mix media together in ways that are not possible in real life. Just as well, you can leverage digital art tools that are only available in a computer environment. You can easily draw and edit shapes with vector tools. You can transform elements of your artwork. You can edit your artwork using layers. You can add text. You can draw with symmetry and draw in perspective and you can even apply effects to your artwork. I was a beginner once, so I know digital painting and Corel Painter can feel intimidating at first, but don't fear. I'm going to break everything down by topic into small sections that you will be able to easily follow along with. 